So let's point your nose back the other direction again. Yeah, the vehicle's handling much easier now. I can tell I've burned a lot of that fuel off, got rid of a lot of that weight. Well, actually, here we go. Let's think about it this way. I need to point, point right here. And I'll burn whenever, whenever that X moves to my point of aim. More time compression. See that moon coming up. <laughs> yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, that looks cool. I like it. That's where we are on the map. We're almost there. Parent Gips is down there at 10,000. Guys are leaning out the windows with the cameras, taking pictures right now, I betcha. Actually, Jeb is still smiling. Of course, Jeb's always happy. What, what, why are Bill and Bob not excited about this, man? It's a close approach to the moon. Come on. For me, I'd be excited. Is Kerbin... Oh, there, there we are. Oh, we're about to get a... Yeah, Kerbin about to eclipse Kerbal over there. Yeah. Okay, let's do some burning. Gentle little thrust here. Just a little bit more as it gets closer. Try and make it approximately circular. It doesn't have to be exactly circular, but we'll try and get it approximate, you know? Two thousand, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. I like that. I like that. How much fuel I got? Still plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel. Oh, I like that. There's Kerbin, Kerbin Rise. That's got Kerbin Set. I'm sorry. Yeah, Kerbin Set. That's cool. Should I have the music playing also Sprock Zarathustra? Time compress. Let's get to that periapsis again. Bring the apoapsis down even some more, huh? We've got lots and lots of fuel. Oh, this is gonna crawl now. That's right. I can't do the time compression very much right now.
Yeah, okay. Okay, that's good. It's actually a little bit lower. Let's take this down to seven. I don't know, like 3,000, huh? Whoop. Or 2,000. I meant 2,000. <laughs> yeah, it gets kind of... A little bit of thrust goes a long way. Let's get over here. Low gravity. Hey, we're in the, we're in the dark side of the moon right now. Subject to uh, poem and song, and we're be out of we'd be out of communication with Kerbal Space Center. They'd be all concerned about us. <laughs> yeah, that looks significantly closer, doesn't it? Look at all this fuel. I think I'm going for a landing, dude. I want to try and land this thing. Lots and lots of fuel. I still have to get rid of those over and under tanks because I think if I try to land with those things... Yeah, I don't have the clearance. Look at that landing gear. If I try to land with the over and under tanks, all four of those, then, you know, they'll explode. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> would be kind of Kerbal, though, I suppose. Okay. Okay, I want to get around over here to daylight this the daylight side so I can have some a better a better look at my uh, at my landing site. Actually, let's try for pretty much right in the middle, huh? Or I don't know, would the craters be smoother? Would it be smoother ground in the craters? Probably. I'm guessing that for the geologic science that they would probably prefer to have like the the edge of a crater. Can I get that precise with it? I don't know. Okay, do I want to try and land in this in this big old crater over here? You want to try and go for that? Because I bet you that's where the more geologically interesting or features would be found. So we get some appreciable science out of this. I mean, it ain't no joyride. We're here to do some work, you know? Or would the, or would the geologists, would they be more interested in some of the uncratered materials that show the evidence of the natural formation of the moon. I don't know. The crater, that, that you'd get stuff that was deeper. Let's go for the crater. Why not? Okay, hang on, I have to go back to regular time for that. Oh yeah, look at that. Hang on, let's get rid of that. Just just for the piss picturesqueness. Curb and rise. A little backlit by the sun over there. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm freaking out of space, man! <laughs> Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I can imagine that later on in development of this game, see all these all these textures, everything we have is just uh, simple placeholders for for what's going to come later. I imagine that we might see see from this view, see if we have if we uh, built some industry on the planet, then from the moon you might even be able to see some lights. On Kerbin, maybe if you're on Kerbin, if you look up at the moon, you might be able to see the evidence of your moon base up there. If you built, if you built large enough and grandiose scale, maybe. I don't know if that will actually work. Yep, coming up in the Terminator here.
here we go. It's still kind of silly whenever I maneuver to watch these control surfaces while I'm running around. No really reason for that. There's no air here. Oh well. I think that looks cool. <laughs> Is that really over this little crater here. And if I zoom out, can we actually see the features of this little crater that I'm over? Yeah, you can, sort of. That's as far as it'll let me zoom out. Okay, I start thinking about this burn. I think we're coming up on real soon here. Actually, let's do a little bit of burning right. Okay. Perhaps this is down here. Let's do a little bit of burning right now. Gentle, gentle. Let's not be doing anything too crazy. Oh, that brings that. My arc is into the crater right now. But right there. Okay. Okay. Um, should go ahead and get rid of this tank. No, I'm not going to get rid of those tanks yet. I've never actually t attempted this. This is even whenever I was. Uh, experimenting around and record uh, um, experimenting around and practicing stuff without recording I've never got this far or I've never got this close to the moon's surface before I, this is the first time I'm seeing this I like it even though I can tell it's just very very rough placeholder textures you can see all the, jo the joints between the, the tiles I know I can see the potential for what this game will be. It's already so cool. Oh wow, I'm getting there fast. I need to... Okay, let's think about this. I'm looking at my surface speed. Okay, let's not get out of control here. Let's turn my RCS on. Go ahead and get rid of those tanks for now. Um, oh, am I screwing this up? Oh my god, no, don't screw it up. Oh my god, no. Oh, why did I do that? Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. I think I need more practice. I kind of... I was just flailing wildly at the end there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, mm. Jeb, Bill, Bob, you have gone where no Kerbals have gone before. and You're just gonna stay there now. <laughs> Oh wow, I, I'm just embarrassed about how poorly I handled that. <laughs> I... Bang! Yeah, there they go. It's not gonna burn long and no air. And no evidence they were ever there. Oh, I didn't realize how fast, how... I think I was, you know, was how low and how fast I was, I didn't realize. Okay, well, 
Okay, this was Let's Fly Kerbal Space Program. Um, I'm going to make another run at this. Uh, we'll try it again later. Thanks for watching. Bye.